Today on Engineering Newswire, see-through armor, self-folding objects, and a 3D printed house powered by a 3D printed vehicle. Researchers at the Georgia Institute of Technology and the Singapore University of Technology and Design have demonstrated a four-dimensional printing technology that allows them to create complex self-folding structures. Made from multiple smart-shaped memory materials that all respond differently to heat, the structures can change shape in an organized sequence by printing the various materials throughout the object. When the materials are heated, they all respond at a different rate to change their shape. According to the researchers, by timing these changes, the 3D objects can be programmed to self-assemble. In a demonstration of the technology, the team presented a flat sheet that folded itself into a 3D box with interlocking flaps. Previous efforts to create such self-folding structures called for heating specific regions at different times. The new way sounds much simpler. Someday the technology could be used to help UAVs change shape according to what type of mission they are on. It could also be used to more easily transport 3D components that could be rolled flat and then later reformed into the intended 3D figures. One of the most restrictive features of armored vehicles is limited situational awareness. BAE Systems is looking to solve this problem with its Battleview 360 digital mapping system. The technology lets the crew of a tank see through the metal confines. At its core, Battleview 360 collects, displays, and tracks the positions of all surrounding features in two or 3D modes. The displayed imagery helps the crew identify friendly and enemy forces and can be used to generate safer routes out of the view of the enemy. The technology actually stems from a system developed for use in advanced fighter planes and uses a touchscreen and helmet mounted interface to visualize data collected from a host of sensors on the hull of the vehicle. The head worn part of the system can be synced to vehicle cameras to provide see through capability in both visual and infrared, while the touchscreen provides a wider view of the unfolding tactical situation, allowing the user to switch perspectives to the viewpoint of other crew members. A demo unit has already been installed on a CV90 tracked vehicle for display at the Defense and Security Equipment International Exhibition in London this week. Yesterday, the Department of Energy's Oak Ridge National Laboratory unveiled a demonstration that combines clean energy tech into not just a 3D printed building, but also a 3D printed vehicle, all to showcase a new approach to energy use, storage, and consumption. Dubbed the Additive Manufacturing Integrated Energy Demonstration, the model is an example of a public-private partnership for energy-efficient systems that link together buildings, vehicles, and the grid. The Oak Ridge team worked with industrial partners to manufacture and connect a natural gas-powered hybrid electric vehicle with a solar-powered building to create an integrated energy system. Power can flow in either direction between the vehicle and building through a lab-developed wireless technology. This approach allows the car to provide supplemental power to the 210 square foot house while the sun isn't shining. Advanced building controls and power management maximize the system's components efficiency. And an energy control center manages the system's electrical demand and load by balancing the intermittent power from the building's 3.2 kilowatt solar array with supplemental power from the vehicle. Researchers hope the model will introduce solutions for the modern electric grid, which faces challenges ranging from extreme weather to how to best incorporate growing renewable energy use. Hey, anything to push us past reliance on fossil fuels. Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in the next episode. I'm holding my hands, weird. For the PD&D channel, I'm David Manti, and this has been your Engineering Newswire. <laughs>